We're at Wolverine Stadium in Centerton on the campus of Bentonville West High School. And tonight we've got the eighth grade conference championship game in Northwest Arkansas between the Woodland Junior High Colts and the Grimsley Junior High Grizzlies. This is a rematch of a game that was played four weeks ago down at Harmon Field that Grimsley won 30 to 23. It was really not even that close of a game. I, I think Grimsley led at 1.30 to seven. Wilden scored a couple of late touchdowns that made the final score a little bit more respectable. That's the only loss, though, that the Colts suffered this year. Their eighth graders is the only loss that they suffered. Really close strong the last few weeks. They beat Fulbright Junior High the following week in overtime over at Bentonville High School. And that pretty much set up this game because Fulbright had been undefeated at that point, and there was some thought that Fulbright and Grimsley might end up playing twice this year. But that's not going to be the case as tonight the Woodland Colts by virtue of their win last week back at Harmon Field over Springdale George. They're playing for the conference championship. Wanted another crack at the Grizzlies. They've got it tonight. Yep. We'll see what happens. Get the, the ball first. That'll help. The thing that just stood out to us <laughs> as we watched them and certainly has been on our mind for the week leading up to this game is just how big Grimsley is. I mean, I mean, this is an eighth grade team that looks like a high school team. Yes. They are big young men. Yeah, they are a very, very big team. Fitting their Grizzlies. It's a short kick that will be fielded by Woodland at the 39-yard line, and we're underway. The Colts are going to have great field position at their own 43 as they start first down and 10. You think the key tonight really is who can score first and can kind of control the game at that point. Woodland getting the ball first, they get the first opportunity to do so. Well, getting that first score on the board would be huge. Where we saw Grimsley hurt Woodland in the first meeting between these teams was running the football. And where I feel like we've seen Woodland play really well the last couple of weeks has been stopping the run. They've had their moments. And they haven't been perfect on every play, but they've really made a lot of good in-game adjustments. First down, Schaefer in the shotgun. Going to give it to Burns running left side. Xavier Burns, a flag comes out. He gets near midfield. It's a seven-yard gain, but I think this is going to come back, Blair. It looks like a hold against Woodland. Yeah, you don't like to see that spot at of the field where that flag is. And indeed, it is a hold and it's going to come back. It's against the Colts. So that'll move Woodland back 10 yards. It'll be first down and long. Not the start you want, but it's one you can overcome. They'll mark the ball at the 34-yard line, so it'll be first down and 19 for the Colts. It's a big play offense. They've been able to overcome some downs and distances like this in the past. Schaefer looking right side, and that pass is incomplete. He was looking for Jack Kessner. Jack got a little twisted yeah, around. Yeah, he did. Be second down for Woodland. All right, need a big play here, or at least something to kind of make it third and manageable. Woodland at its 34-yard line needs to get to the Grimsley 47. Schaefer. Being pressured, throws, the pass is caught at the 40, breaks a tackle at the 45, gets forward to the 47-yard line, and that's got this big Woodland crowd fired up. Good catch, Gain good of, run. Gain of 13 on the play. It was Rhett Tidwell on the reception, and now it's going to be third down and six for the Colts. This is the biggest crowd we've seen maybe at any game we've done this year, Blair, and that counts high school games. Here's a huge, huge crowd here from oh, Woodland. Yeah. And they're still fouling in. There's still a bunch in the north end or south end zone watching. Schaefer's going to keep it himself on third down, and he's not going to get much. Falls no. forward to the 49-yard line, and it'll be fourth down now for the Colts. 
on the tackle that time for Grimsley with Cy Bates. Cy Bates is one of those. Just, I mean, we just we just hark on this. They're just huge. Yeah. They are huge on the defensive front. They are huge at linebacker. Their cornerbacks are big. And you'll see it whenever they take the field on offense here in a minute. They've got a huge offensive line. Well, then's going to punt it. Daxton Tesmer standing back deep for the Colts at the 37-yard line. I don't think there's anybody no. back deep for Grimsley. There's not. This is unusual. Tesmer gets it away. There's nobody back there to field this, and it takes a Woodland roll inside the 20, yeah. and it's going to go inside oh, yeah. the 10-yard line. How about that punt by Tesmer? And you wonder what Grimsley was thinking there by not putting anybody back to catch the ball. That probably cost him about 15 yards. It'll be first down for Grimsley. Inside it's 10, they'll mark it at the between seven and eight yard line. You almost wonder if they were expecting Woodland to try a fake. Have we seen a Woodland fake this year on a punt? No, but you just never know in the championship game. Everybody's gonna unleash the bag of tricks, but it would have been a, probably a little early in the game to unleash that from a Woodland perspective, I would think. Mason Hawkins is the quarterback for Grimsley. They start here first and 10 from their own eight-yard line. Three receivers left side. They'll bring one in motion. Hawkins throws it that way. Pass is caught, but not much there. Great tackle by Xavier Burns. No gain on the catch that time by Kenan Keaton, and it's going to be second down. I almost thought Xavier got blocked in the back before he made the tackle. We got two running backs in. They flank Hawkins here on second down. 4.49 to go in the first quarter. They move a running back in motion out to the right side. They try to set up a screen to the left. Now they throw it back to the right. This has got some potential across the 10, across the 15, and out to the 16-yard line. Cy Bates was the receiver that time. And it'll be third down and two for Grimsley. They need to get to the 18 to move the chains. Be third down and one for the Grizzlies. Surprise, they run out. I look for him to establish the running game. Hawkins gives it up the middle. They've got the first down out across the 20 yard line. On the carry that time for Grimsley was Aiden Myers. He got four yards. Tidwell on the tackle for the Colts. It's first down, though, for Grimsley at the 21. And there is some hitting going on at the line of scrimmage. It is not for the Timid tonight. Hawkins in the shotgun, four receivers. They'll bring one in motion. Hawkins goes play action, looking to the left. The pass is caught, and Bates, he's so hard to bring down. Gets out near the 29, maybe the 28-yard line is where they'll mark him. Landon Schaefer was one of the first ones there for the Colts. Also looked like Tyree Terry was in on the tackle. Yeah, quite a few Colts in on that. They're just... Gain of seven yards to play this second Just down. Kind of three. nickel and diamond you right now. Gain of seven. They need to get to the 31. This is second down and three. Hawkins will move Bates in motion. A little tight set. Now they give it to Myers, and he's hitting the backfield, and he's going to be taken down for a loss. Great read that time by the Colts. It was Julian Stafford who got there. It'll be a loss back to the 25-yard line, and now it's going to bring up third down and six. Now they'll say third and five. They give him to the 26. The They've got to get to the 31. 2.55 to play first quarter. No score between Woodland and Grimsley here in their conference championship game. Seems like a little bit of nerves maybe here between these two teams, Blair. Oh, yeah. Not a lot of rhythm yet in this game. Hawkins in the shotgun. Pretty good protection. Throws left side. He's got a receiver, and it's caught across midfield onto the Woodland side. Big gain that time out to the Woodland 47-yard line. It was Harris Vinson on the reception. They'll mark him at the 48. It's a gain of 26, and it's first down for Grimsley, the biggest play of this game. And pretty fortunate he kind of lost his balance, which caused him to go down or else he'd still been running. Really great pass that time by Hawkins. First down on the Woodland 48. They give it to Myers, runs up the middle, and there's nothing there. That's twice they've tried that play, and twice the Colts have taken them down in the backfield. Defensive line is holding their own right now. On the tackle that time was Jack Kessner. Julian Stafford also went on the tackle. We saw Stafford have the big tackle for loss a moment ago. 
They'll give him forward progress back to the line of scrimmage. It's second down and 10 at the 48. Kind of feels like one of those boxing matches where the two fighters are feeling yeah. each other out right now. Oh, yeah. Three receivers to the right. Hawkins, now he'll bring a man in motion. Hawkins takes it, kind of shuffles it forward to Cy Bates, and Bates hard to bring down. They finally get him at the 41-yard line, and it'll be third down and three from there. That was almost disastrous. Bates kind of bobbled initially after getting a little shovel pass. Good job of keeping him from getting that, getting to the 40. And now another third down. Game of seven will play, third down and two. They take Hawkins as a quarterback out here, so they'll run a wildcat formation on this third down and three. Looks like Harris Vinson might be the one who takes the snap. Still plenty of time on the play clock. And now it is. It's Vinson who lines up in the shotgun formation. Grimson needs to get to the 38-yard line. They bring a man in motion. Vinson fakes it, runs it up the middle. He's got the first down and more across the 35. And he's down near the 31-yard line. On the carry, by that man in motion makes all the difference on that formation. Landon Holzhauer on the tackle that time for the Colts. Well, the mix. Several substitutions after the play. And one of them's going to have to be Landon Schaefer coming out. Yeah, he's got a chin strap issue. The third time I think we've seen a player have to come out. I'm kind of in the seventh grade game earlier yeah. tonight because of equipment. Yeah, it's kind of unusual to see. First down from the 31, clock running, 36 seconds to play first quarter. Grimsley driving on the Woodland side of the field. Hawkins, pretty good protection, throwing right side toward the end zone. He's got a man, he's got a touchdown. Mason Hawkins to Harris Vinson. Harris Vinson with the 31-yard touchdown reception. And with 27 seconds to play in the first quarter, the Grizzlies with a really, really impressive drive, 92 yards. Great protection. The quarterback just could stand there and just wait for somebody to come open. Colts just not able to get anybody back in the pocket and give them some pressure. Two big pass plays on that drive from Hawkins to Vinson. They will line up to go for two. Hawkins in the shotgun. Now they'll bring Vincent in motion. Vincent to the right side. Hawkins rolling that way and throws toward the end zone. The pass is incomplete. He was bumped, but there's no flag. Yeah, Woodland may have gotten away with one there. Two-point try, no good. 27 seconds to play in the first quarter. Our score, Grimsley, six. Woodland, nothing. This is Woodland football presented by Freedom 5-1 and Eagle Bank Mortgage. Twenty-seven seconds to play, first quarter. Grimsley leads Woodland six to nothing. After a thirty-one-yard touchdown pass from Mason Hawkins to Harris Vinson, need to answer that drive if you're the Colts. Kicking for the Grizzlies, number nine. Juan Carlos Fuentes is the kicker. It's a high kick, and they're going to sacrifice some yardage again. Wilden takes this at the 39, gets across the 45, out near midfield. Great return that time by the Colts. It was the up man, Isaac Smith, who took it. Gets an 11-yard return, and it'll be first down for the Colts from their own 49. Boy, that worked out well. Grimsley must really trust its defense because they're sacrificing a lot of yards yeah. with that short kickoff. Well, they're also not counting on you running with it after you get that sky kick, but Smith knew what he was doing. It should be the last play of the quarter if they even get a snap off. Seven on the clock, six on the clock. Schaefer in the shotgun. And now we've got a whistle. And they called timeout. Grimsley, timeout by timeout. Grimsley. How about that? That's very unusual. odd. You don't see a timeout called by the defense out of a kickoff very often. Yeah, especially, yeah. 49 right before seconds. The quarter. Gives us a chance to give you a 
gives us a chance, I'm sorry, to tell you about our sponsors tonight. Centennial Bank, Mellow Mushroom, Bank of Fayetteville also sponsoring tonight's broadcast. Also, Wilden wants to say thank you to its spirit moms this year. Meredith Garman, Allison Slankard, Christy Plummer, and Sarah Kilpatrick. This is it. This is the last Woodland game of the year. We made it. Yeah. Pretty amazing. The eighth graders did not have any games canceled this year due to COVID. Yeah. Seventh graders had the one at Washington Junior High. It was due to, though, a COVID test at, at Washington. Yeah. And that was Woodland. almost a last-minute deal. Yeah. First down and 10, four receivers. They give it to Terry, running left side. He tries to cut up field, and he does the last second, only going to get a yard to the 50. And yeah, that'll be the way the first quarter comes to an end. Number 34, Tyre Terry on the carry. Grimsley leads Woodland, six to nothing. This is Woodland football, presented by Freedom 5-1 and Eagle Bank Mortgage. 2-4-6-8, who, do we, who has those competitive rates? Eagle Bank Mortgage. Call Dana Boring with Eagle Bank Mortgage, and she will help you with home ownership and find out if it is right for you. NMLS 419384, Equal Housing Lender, and Freedom 5-1, transforming the financial destinies of families with financial life coaching. Chris and Tim encourage you to visit their website, freedom51.com, or visit them on Facebook at Freedom 5 one and we thank them for their sponsorship all season long and we hope glad you're with us for this final broadcast of the fall for the colts championship week here at bentville west wolverine stadium in centerton you can only see one house to the north of the stadium we talked about the the backdrop yeah. and they've got the christmas lights on oh yeah there used to be nothing but a field out there, and every time I come up here, there's like another subdivision, a row of houses that have gone in. Yeah, it's growing fast. Next, next time we come up here, the place is going to be surrounded by homes. Three receivers to the right side for Landon Schaefer on second down and nine for Woodland. They need to get to the Grimsley 41. And kind of slow going so far for the Woodland offense. Only their second possession, though. They go play action, throw right side. That pass is incomplete. Looking for Isaac Smith. Just you know, a little overthrown. When I moved to Northwest Arkansas Isaac 15 Smith. years ago, Centerton had a population of 600. Oh, yeah. it was. And now when the census comes out, they're expected to have over 16,000. It's, it's amazing, the growth. In this corner of the state, I mean, yeah. with the new highway going in just to the north, it's, it's exploding. Third down and nine. Schaefer brings a player in motion. They give it to Patterson, running right side. Patterson's got the first down. They call a draw on third down and nine, and Patterson runs for 10. That's the first time he's carried the ball tonight. That's a big play for Woodland. Maybe they can get some tempo going here. Yeah, a nice run by Patterson, too. Maybe a little bit of a rhythm to the offense. Four receivers for Schaefer. First down and 10 from the Grimsley 40-yard line. Schaefer brings a player in motion. Takes it, fakes it, now gives it to Patterson. He's hitting the Ooh. hole and taken down. Big hit by Myers that time. Patterson's Patterson one of the biggest the players carry. you're going to see. Tackled and for him to take a hit that hard tells you how hard the hit was. Yeah, he'll come off. And yes, Mr. Burns will come on. And Gain of a yard. It'll be second down and nine. Seven sixteen to play before halftime. Well, then trailing Grimsley six to nothing. Colts need to get to the Grimsley 30 to move the chains. Schaefer is going to keep it himself here on second down. Running right side across the 35. Landed Schaefer falls forward. He's near the first down marker. He doesn't have it. It's going to be about a yard or two shy. It'll be third down. It gives you some options now on third and short, different things you can do. They mark it at the 33, so it's third down and two. That correction, third down and three. They've got to get to the 30. Second down and four, Woodland. Schaefer in the shotgun with three receivers to the right side. That's the open side of the field. Schaefer goes play action, looking that way, being pressured. Now throws. The pass is incomplete, and it's going to be intercepted. Intercepted at the 20 and out to the 23-yard line. Holds on her pass is intercepted by number three, Keaton. It was Keaton, Kenneth Keaton on the interception. 
First down and ten at their own. Tipped ball. Yeah. Looked like looked like that might have been Landon Holzhauer who tipped it. Went straight up in the air. And Keaton was there for the interception. Big, big play because even if that had been incomplete, you could go for it on fourth down and three. And now Got to come Grimsley's up with got possession. Need to come up with a turnover or a stop. A turnover would be the best. From the 23-yard line, three receivers to the left side. They'll bring a per player in motion. They give it up the middle. It's a pretty good run. This is Myers gets out to the 31-yard line. Number 25, eight, eight yards. And yeah, it'll be second down and two. Eight yard gain on the play, second down and two. I'd really be shocked if they do anything but run the rest of the half. Under five and a half minutes to play before halftime. Grimsley leading six to nothing. The Grizzlies. Empty out the backfield. Hawkins on second down, throws over the middle. This pass is incomplete. Good defense. How about that pass breakup? It was Charlie Graves on the breakup that time for the Colts. Myers was the intended receiver. Correction, that was Vincent, the intended receiver. It's third down and two. Both teams just not hold back any aggressive play calling tonight. Yep. Wow. Grimsley needs to get to the 33 here on third down and two. Two receivers to either side of Hawkins. He takes the snap. Woodland brings pressure. Throws. Pass is caught across midfield at the 45, the 40, the 35, and taken down at the 32-yard line. It is complete to number three. That's where that size advantage Jim. came in big. He yeah. just left, launched it up there for his big receiver to go play. get. Keaton with the reception. Daxton Tesmer was... Defending him just about as well as you could. They flipped the field from the 31 to the 31. It's a 38 yard gain. First down, 4.51 to play before halftime. Clock running. Hawkins. Too many men on the field. And we've got a flag. County marker on the field. Illegal substitution. And it's an illegal substitution against the Colts. Yep. Had 12 men on the field. The 12th player was trying to get off in time, but they snapped it before he could get off. So they get a free five yards out of that. So it'll be first down and five for Grimsley at the 26-yard line. Got to keep him out of the end zone. Two receivers to the right side. Hawkins is the quarterback. Going to keep it himself. Now they'll kind of run the option. They go right side. It's a first down across the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. Vincent on the carry that time for Grimsley. When was the last time you saw an option play? First down, Grizzly. It's effective. You know, you just don't see it very often, but it's effective. They mark it at the 17-yard line. It's first down from there. Hawkins, pretty good protection. Now he runs out pretty quick. He has to throw, and it's incomplete. Patterson was coming at him from behind. Second down and 10. Clock stops with 4.06 to play before halftime. It almost looked for a minute like he was <laughs> trying to throw it away momentarily. Second and 10. The Grizzlies need to get to the seven yard line to convert a first down. Hawkins, the quarterback, they move Bates in motion to the left side. Hawkins takes the snap, looking to pass, being pressured by Patterson, and he throws it away. It'll be third down. Ooh, Hawkins took a weird fall there at the end. And it's good to see him get up and, and not be injured. Good coverage. Pa Patterson pushed him there at the end. It was a perfectly legal hit, but... Hawkins just fell really awkwardly back on, looked like his knee buckled underneath him. Well, he kind of stumbled on that um, second down play, too, when he was scrambling. So, Third down and 10 from the 17-yard line. Hawkins takes the snap, gives it to Vincent, running left side. Vincent's oh. taken down. 
Nice tackle that time by Landon Schaefer at the 14-yard line after a gain of three. And now, if you're Grimsley, what do you do? Probably don't have a kicker that can make it from 31 out, so they're going to go for it. Ty Story, the former Arkansas quarterback, is the play caller for Grimsley. He's out about three yards onto the field, giving him a play call. It's fourth down. The Grizzlies out to get to the seven-yard line. Hawkins in the shotgun. Woodland brings the blitz, throws, passes incomplete. It was deflected by Landon Schaefer. Wow. I don't know if I've ever seen Landon this animated. He yep. is into it tonight. and he He's is, fired up. He is playing well. All right, 3.17 to go. As we know, that's more than enough time for this Colt offense to strike. Boy, points here would be absolutely phenomenal. Great Wood defensive stand. Woodland takes over first and 10 at its own 14-yard line. Still got all of its timeouts through the Colts. Four receivers for Schaefer. And the shotgun formation takes a snap, keeps it himself, runs up the middle. Schaefer now goes to the right side. It's a few yards out to the 18. It'll be second down. It's the one thing I recall from the game the last time. This was the one of the, if not the only team, he really was just not able to run and get to the edge against these guys. Clock running, under three minutes to play. First half, Woodland with a second down. Schaefer gives it to Terry, running left side. Can Terry get up the field? There he is at the 20, the 25. Terry's at the 30, at the 35, 40, 45, midfield. Tyree Terry's got a first down on the Grimsley side of the field oh, at no. the 44-yard line. There's a flag at the 29. Oh, there is a flag. And what a, a hold against Woodland. Oh, man, what a run. And Coach Crockett is letting the side judge have it. What a run, though. That was phenomenal. It's a replay. Call it first play. Every time we play you. Woodland parents very upset. You remember in the first game between these two teams was, I don't know if you call it poorly officiated, but there were several really debatable calls yeah. in that game. So, penalty yardage will move Woodland back to the 19-yard line, and it negates a big-time run by Tyree Terry. And I think Coach Crockett may have just gotten a sideline warning. Yep. That's a sideline warning against Woodland. And the side judge is letting him know he's had enough. And was it against Grimsley that we saw the same thing happen with the sideline warning? Yeah. yeah. So it's second down and five from the 19-yard line. They give it to Terry again. Terry's got another big run across the 25. Terry breaking tackles, running hard across the 30 to the 33-yard line. Well, it wasn't like the run before, but it was effective. A 14-yard gain, and it'll move the chains. Clock starts to run again under 155 to play before halftime. Woodland's got to move with a little bit of urgency here, though. I think Coach Crockett and the side judge just made peace. Excuse me, number 85, Mason Lauder. Patterson comes in as the tailback. There's three receivers to the left side. First down and 10. Woodland from its own 33. They give it to Patterson, runs up the middle. He's not going to get much. Gets a few hard yards out to the 37. And the clock continues to run. Under a minute and a half to go before the break. It's just so hard to run against that Grizzly up the middle because they're just so big. You can't move them out of the way. It just clogs up the middle. Three-yard gain on play second down and seven for the Colts. Second down and seven. Woodland needs to get to the 44. Minute five to go. Schaefer takes it. Pretty good protection. Throws it deep downfield. He's got a man, but it's overthrown incomplete. Oh, it was there. It was Daxton Tesmer. Behind the secondary. 
but Schaefer just threw it too far, and now it's third down. Foul that one away for the second half. And great job by Schaefer to not make it obvious who he's throwing to. He just stands back there in the pocket, scans it, and then lets it loose. Big third down here, man. Clock stop, 59 seconds to go before the half. Three receivers to the left side. Schaefer in the shotgun formation. Burns is a tailback. And now we've got a whistle, and this will be a timeout taken by the Colts. Be back in just a moment. This is Woodland Football, sponsored by Freedom 5-1 and Eagle Bank Mortgage. Third and seven for the Colts as we come back. 59 seconds to play before halftime. Woodland needs to get to the 44-yard line. It's own 44. Schaefer, it's a run all the way. Going left side. Schaefer tries to get outside. He's going to be taken down. Taken down after a gain of a yard. Woodland wanted a flag for a face mask, but they're not going to get it. Tackle on number four, Charlie Miller for the Grizzlies. Charlie Miller with the tackle, and now Grimsley will take a timeout. No gain on the play. The That's its second down. timeout of the half. It'll stop the clock with 51 seconds timeout. to go. Grimsley, their second timeout. Well, what do you do here, Matt? Well, obviously, you punt the ball away. It would yeah. be interesting to see, though, if Grimsley puts anybody back deep. They didn't the last time, and it cost him about 15 yards. Would you give any thought to running a fake? Or it would be awful, awful dangerous. It'd be awful risky, wouldn't it? Yeah. But it is championship game, so I, I don't know. It's probably too close to the half. There's too much time for them to get the ball and do something with it. Hey, if you like high school football, we'll have a good one for you tomorrow night. Fayetteville yeah. High School against Harbor. And a Seven lot of playoff implications yeah. involved in that one. I was trying to figure that up today. 7 o'clock start time at Harbor Stadium tomorrow night. Naxton Tesmer punts it away. It's not a great punt, but it'll do the Ooh, it goes job. Out of bounds, it will go out of bounds at the 46-yard line of Grimsley. And that's where the Grizzlies will start with 46 seconds to go before halftime. Yeah, if I forgot it figured right, there's a chance Fayetteville could be the two seed. But they've got to win by 14 points, I think, tomorrow night. Okay. And then it goes to the tiebreaker. And see, that's what gets interesting because you didn't play West. You don't have the head-to-head. -head. You have beaten Harbor, who beat West. So it's... Yeah. Didn't play Rogers high either. And yeah, and that could come into fact. Rogers has been the, pretty good this year. Yeah. They beat Harbor last week. Yeah, so it's, it's going to be uh, an interesting night. Five wide receivers. Mason Hawkins being pressured on first down. He just has to throw it away. That should be intentional grounding. There it is. There it is. Not only is it intentional grounding, Blair, but he probably threw that pass 15 yards behind the line of scrimmage. Oh, he didn't have any chance of getting to the line of scrimmage. Tyree Terry was the one who was given the most chase. And now, if you're Woodland, you've got two timeouts left. That's going to move the ball back to the 25-yard right. line. That is huge. It's going to be second down and 31 for the Grizzlies. Second down and 31 to go. Now, if you're Woodland, do you give some thought to maybe taking your time out oh, to yeah. try to get the ball here before halftime? I Why think not? you do. Yeah. Can't take them with you. Need, need a stop, though. <laughs> Boy, it just got quiet, too, didn't it? Hawkins on second down with two running backs on either side. They're going to throw it. Being pressured. Throws. This pass is almost intercepted. Incomplete. It was Landon Schaefer coming in, making a diving attempt. Julian Stafford with the pressure that time. 
And now it's third down, and Grimsley just saved Woodland a timeout. Yeah, I can't believe they, they – wow. It really was a safe pass call of the screen they were trying to set up, but, but still. Stafford blew up the play and yeah. made it to where he had to throw it too soon. Third down and 31. Grimsley needs to get to the Woodland 44. Now they'll run. This is Myers. He's got some room across the 35, the 40, out to the 43. And now if you're Woodland, do you take a timeout? Still nothing. Yeah. They're, I think they're content with going to the locker room, Blair. It appears that way. It's fourth down. I thought Woodland would have taken a timeout, but and now Grimsley's going to take one. Yeah, Grimsley's going to try to timeout. chuck it deep. But I think they took it a little too early, Blair. There's 18 seconds. Yeah. Very odd. Very, very odd right there by Grimsley. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure if you're Grimsley, if you just don't Why? let the clock run. Well, or if you want to run this final play, at least let it go down to yeah, five burn, or six seconds. Yeah, burn a little more clock. Very odd decision there. That's Grimsley's final timeout of the half. Or even if you take the delay a game in the five-yard penalty, I mean, it becomes big right here, Blair, because they're at the 43-yard line. There's yeah. 18 seconds on the clock. If they don't convert here, Woodland gets the ball at the line of scrimmage, assuming yeah. it's an incomplete pass. Yeah, and the clock will stop on the incomplete yeah. pass. So, very, yeah. very odd. Yeah. Yeah, that's and Grim and and Woodland can hit that kind of play. We've seen it. So Grimsley brings its offense back out. Three receivers left side. Hawkins, the quarterback. Third down and long, or fourth down and long. Woodland brings the pressure. It's caught. Oh, no. This is Vincent across the 40. He's got the first down onto the Woodland side of the field and finally taken down inside the 30 at the 27-yard line. Wow. Well, he's the guy they go to when they need that big play. and he's 34-yard gain for the Grizzlies. They don't have any timeouts. They did go out of bounds, so that stops the clock. Nine seconds to go before halftime. That is a confident, confident play call by Grimsley. Yes. Well, you got to think you got to go to the end zone in this one. I don't know if they're going to have time for two plays. Nine seconds. Two receivers to the right, two to the left. Tellback stands next to Mason Hawkins on first down. Flag comes out. The pass is incomplete. Hawkins pass intended to Bay falls incomplete. Landon Holzhauer the with the deflection that time for Woodland. It's an illegal shift against the Grizzlies, and so that will move them back five yards. And you think that this would be the final play of the half, just six seconds to go. Well, only three seconds went off the clock that time. And Grimsley at the Woodland 31. Don't get beat deep. But Woodland safeties are playing about 15 yards off the line of scrimmage. Hawkins has to throw it fast. The pass is caught across the 25, the 20, and he's going to be taken out of bounds. Charlie Graves with the tackle. It was Keaton on the reception, and that's how the first half ends. Love the play, love the defensive play call. Send the blitz, send the pressure. It was a blowout at Harmon Field four weeks ago, so Woodland's got to feel good about where they are at halftime. It's six to nothing. Grimsley is the halftime score. We'll be back in a moment. This is we Woodland Football, play, sponsored by Freedom 5-1 and Eagle Bank Mortgage.
back at Wolverine Stadium in Centerton, getting ready for the start of the second half between Woodland and Grimsley. Grimsley leads six to nothing. And unfortunately, they get the ball first. Yep. Number 42, Xavier Burns, the kicker. Really the Colts. Back deep for the Grizzlies. Harris Vincent and Charlie Miller. Alex Nava kicks it off. It's almost an onside kick. It hits an up man for Grimsley. It's recovered by the Grizzlies, and they've got great field position at midfield. It's almost like the right side of the kickoff coverage wasn't aware that that's what he was going to do. Yeah. So, Grimsley leading 6 to nothing, starting first and 10 from midfield. Great field position here for this offense. You don't want to give them a short field either because they've been pretty explosive. They can really throw the ball around. Mason Hawkins in the shotgun on first down. Goes play action. Throws right side. The pass is caught. This is Vincent across the 40, the 35 of the 30 of Woodland. Still on his feet. Falls forward to the 20-yard line. Just not had an answer for him tonight. Nope. Didn't they have did. an answer for him the first time game. either. First down, Grizzly. Mm. 29-yard gain is what they give them, so it's to the 21-yard line. Hawkins on first down. Grimsley threatening early here in the half. They give it up the middle. Stafford hits him in the hole, and there's not going to be much there. Maybe a couple of yards out to the 19. Myers on the carry. It'll be second down. Somehow need a, need a turnover. Yeah, this is where Woodland, you need a snap over the head or something. Yeah. Hawkins goes play action, looking left side, still looking, throws and passes in, complete. Good coverage that time by Xavier Burns. He was looking for Keaton, and now to be third down. They're getting some pressure on him, kind of forcing him to move around a little bit. Third down and eight. Grimsley is at the 19-yard line. Needs to get to the 11. 15 on the play clock. 7-0-1 to play third quarter. Hawkins with two running backs and three receivers. Now the move Vincent out in motion to the left side. Hawkins trying to set up a screen right. Now throws over the middle. The pass is caught across the 15. He's got a blocker, and he's got a first down at the 10. And, oh, big hit by Charlie Graves at the end. But they get 12 and a first down. It was Quentin Thompson on the reception. That is a dangerous pass, too, throw across the middle like that. But they got it done. First to goal for Grimsley at the eight-yard line. So it was a gain of 11 that time by Thompson. Hawkins gives it up the middle. Touchdown, Grimsley. Touchdown. Myers goes in untouched from eight yards out, and with 6.31 to play in the third quarter, the Grizzlies have extended their lead to 12 to nothing. Man, they just cleared a path, and he waltzed right into the end zone untouched. Physicality is starting to wear down the Colts a little bit, I'm, I'm afraid. The Grizzlies have to go for, or they don't have to go for two, but they elect to. They've got... Three receivers. Hawkins brings a man in motion. Now they'll move him to the right side. That's Vincent. Hawkins throws right, and that pass is incomplete. Almost intercepted. He can't return a two-point try, but had he been able to hold on to it, Colson Crone on the pass breakup, had he been able to hold on to it in a higher level, he may have taken that back for two. 6.31 to play third quarter. Our score. Grimsley 12, with nothing. With the football presented by Freedom 5 1 and Eagle Bank Mortgage.
Back at Wolverine Stadium, 631 to play third quarter. Wilton trails Grimsley 12 to nothing. Got to get the offense going somehow, some way. Now, this is a different kicker than Grimsley used in the first half. Harris Vincent on to kick it. He'll kick it out of bounds. Oh, oh they didn't let it go. Let, oh, they're well going to. Yeah, Maybe. they get the benefit of the doubt. The flag comes out, so they're going to get the out of bounds call. Yeah. Best not try to catch it, though. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that was clearly going out of bounds. So that will give Woodland great field position here. The Colts will get the ball somewhere across about the 45-yard line, I would think. Yeah. See what kind of halftime adjustments they were able to make. They mark it at the 45 on the right hash mark. So that's where Woodland will start. First down. Both will have it first and 10 from their own 45-yard line. Landon Schaefer brings this offense out on the field. Colts held out of the end zone in the first half. Hadn't seen that happen too many times this year. Even in their first game against Grimsley, they scored before halftime. Schaefer in the shotgun on first down. He will give it to Burns, running left side. Pretty good hole, Burns across midfield at the 45. Burns at the 40. He's at the 30 of Grimsley at the 20. And Burns is knocked out of bounds inside the red zone. Wait to see where they mark him out. They're going to mark him at the 20-yard line. So it'll be a gain of 35 for Burns. That's the best carry tonight for Woodland. And this is also the deepest into Grimsley territory the Colts have been. Maybe not his best run of the night, but the best one that's going to count. Yeah, well, that was Terry who had the long run earlier. Yeah. Burns in here again oh, on right. first down, stands to the left of Schaefer. They'll fake it to him this time. Schaefer running left side, hit behind the line of scrimmage, gets away from the first tackler. Oh, my goodness, he went down awkwardly. Trying to fight off the blocker, too. Schaefer, fortunate to get up without an injury there. It's a loss of two back to the 22-yard line. Charlie Miller on the tackle that time. Loss of two on the Grimsley, play. it's second down at 12. Down Clock running, 6-16 to play third quarter. We'll be trying to chip into this 12 to nothing deficit. Schaefer with Burns to his right. Wilden needs to get to the 10. Schaefer looking right side, being pressured from behind, has to run with it now. Did he fumble the ball? I yes, he, he did, did, and Grimsley's got it. Oh, it. Schaefer was forced out of the pocket, had to run with it, lost the ball. Side Bates comes up with it. Give a lot of credit that time to Grimsley. Malik Thomas with the pressure from behind. Schaefer felt it, did what you have to do, but you got to hold on to the ball too, and that's a big turnover. Mm. 5.45 to go third quarter, clock running. Grizzlies retakes the field for Grizzlies. Feels a lot like the seventh grade game earlier when Woodland was up 12 to nothing and you felt like if Woodland could score, maybe the game was out of reach. Ended up being a 12 to six game. Can Woodland get back in it here? They set up a screen, side Bates running right side. He's hard to bring down and think about four or five Colts to do it, but he won't get much. A yard out to the 21 yard line. In fact, he never hit the ground. Good job there. Tidwell just kind of shakes his head as he comes out of that pile saying, my goodness, how do you get this guy on the ground? It was tough the first time and it's tough the second time as well. Be second down and eight. From the 22, Hawkins looking left side. Quick pass, and that is incomplete. Oh, that's a break. It stops the clock as well. I was looking for Kenan Keaton under through him, and now it's third down and eight. Well, if you can get the stop on this, this drive, that would be excellent. Even better. How about a turnover here? They've been aggressive in the play calling. Hawkins with an empty backfield. Five receivers, three to the left. Now they'll bring Thompson in motion. Hawkins being pressured. Throws the pass, is intercepted. This is Schaefer across the 20 at the 15. Schaefer's at the 10, and he's taken down at the eight-yard line. 
So Landon Schaefer lost it, and he takes it right back. Return of 18 yards that time on the interception. It'll be first to goal for the Colts with 4.37 to go in the quarter. How about that? That's where that aggressive play calling can, can get you. All right, Colts have got to take advantage of this field position right here. Make this thing a ball game. Let's punch this thing in there. Burns comes in as the tailback. Schaefer, the quarterback. Two receivers to the right side. They've also got a tight end in. One receiver to the left. Schaefer on first and goal from the eight. And now there is a whistle and a timeout taken by Woodland. I don't know if Woodland had enough players on the field, Blair. Yeah, let's see. Yep, only 10 players on the field. Oh, geez. They only had 10 players on the field. Man. So that'll stop the clock with 4.18 to go in the half, or I'm sorry, in the quarter. Boy, you hope that time, burning that time out there doesn't come back to bite you later when you really need one. We want to thank our sponsors tonight, Centennial Bank, Mellow Mushroom, and the Bank of Fayetteville. Also, Woodland would like to thank their spirit moms this year, Meredith Garman, Allison Slankert, Christy Plummer, and Sarah Kilpatrick for all the work they've done. Thank it you. takes a village. It does. To put on these junior high games, senior high games, whatever level you're talking about. Oh, and especially this year, even more oh, yeah. so than, than most years with everything saw else where, that's uh, going on. The University of Buffalo won its game last night. They gave their game ball to their medical staff. Oh, that's cool. To get them to that point. You know, it was their first game. That's awesome. Isn't it amazing? You know, the Pac-12 starts this weekend. Still have teams playing their first game of the season oh, no. in November. It's, but some teams have been playing since August. Yeah, it's... Just, just wild. Schaefer gives it to Graves, running left side. He's got a blocker in front of him. He's at the five. Touchdown, Woodland. Charlie Graves goes in untouched from eight yards out. The Colts will go for the extra point. They've cut the lead in half, trying to add a point here. All right, we've got a ball game again. Alex Nava is out to attempt the extra point. Landon Holzhauer will hold. The high snap. Holzhauer gets it down, and Nava puts it through. Good job. Great job that time by Holzhauer to get the ball down. And with 4.13 to play in the third quarter, our new score, Grimsley 12, Woodland 7. It's the conference championship. This is Wilder Football presented by Freedom 5-1 and Eagle Bank Mortgage. Four thirteen to play third quarter. Woodland is back in it, twelve to seven. They trail Grimsley after an eight-yard touchdown run from Charlie Graves. Touchdown set up after the interception by Landon Schaefer. And Woodland once again kicks it right at the front line of Grimsley, and the Grizzlies are going to get great field position again. Feels like you might be playing with fire a little bit, giving them such a short field. Yeah, I don't think he intended to kick it right at him. It just kind of came off his foot that way and bounced right to the guy. But The second time the Grizzlies have started from midfield in this half, they scored on the first one. Be a, uh, interesting to see how aggressive Mr. Story keeps calling the plays. Hawkins on first down, throws us up to that pass, was caught. No, they're going to say, or are they going to say it was incomplete? They're going to say he caught wow. it with his knee on the ground, Blair. It was almost intercepted. Landon Holzhauer made a great, great jump. Keaton brought it in. It's a gain of seven. Wow. Landon Holzhauer. Gain of seven. Second down and three. 
I don't know how he made that catch, but what a catch. Three receivers to the right side. Hawkins throws that way. They're setting up a screen to their running back across the 40 at the 35 and taken out of bounds. It was Myers on the reception, Graves on the tackle. And they missed a block on the back bigger than life at the 40-yard line. You can hear the dads yell about it. I mean, it was very obvious. But they didn't call it. Gain of 10 to the 33-yard line. Clock stopped on the play out of bounds. 3.18 to play in the quarter. Hawkins in the shotgun. It's a kind of a lazy snap. He tries to set up a screen. He's got his man, and it's going to be taken down for no gain. Maybe a loss of a yard. The flag comes in behind the play. It was Landon Schaefer on the tackle. Myers on the reception. It's a hold against the Grizzlies. And they'll take the penalty yardage. If they didn't, it'd be about second and 10, second and 11. This will make it first down and 20. Yeah, keeps them in a passing situation. Boy, they like to throw that. They just like to throw, the period. Yeah, they like to throw, but they that pass across the middle, man. I don't know about I don't know if we've seen a team throw it as much as they have, Blair. No. Three receivers left side. Hawkins being pressured. Rolls oh. to his right. He's going to get a few yards, Zach. Where do they mark him out at? Whoa. Wow, he may have gotten all the penalty yardage back. They give him all the way to the 32-yard line. Looked like he was going to go out of bounds back at about the 40, and then he just kept tiptoeing down the sideline. Man, that was a heck of a run. Grimsley. So they'll make it second down and 10 for the Grizzlies. 2.46 to play, third quarter. Wilden trailing 12 to 7. Turnover set up the Colts' only touchdown. Can they do it again? Hawkins looking to the left. This pass is incomplete. He was looking for Keaton. Burns came in on the coverage, made a nice play on the ball. Now it's third down. Boy, he stared down that receiver, too. It was fortunate nobody was able to get there in time and jump the route. Grimsley needs to get to the Woodland 23-yard line on third down and 10. Three receivers left side for Mason Hawkins, one to the right. That's Vincent, who's done a lot of damage. Vincent coming across the middle. Hawkins is looking for him, and he overthrew it. Flag oh. comes in at the end of the play. Who's in on? It's going to be the question. Penalty marker on the play. Got to wait for the call. and This is on Woodland, Blair. This uh -oh. Woodland sideline is just going to erupt, I'm afraid. Yeah. It's a pass interference against Woodland. Oh, whoa. On who? It, it had to where? have been. The only thing I can think, Blair, is it had to be behind Vincent. Vincent was coming across the middle on a crossing pattern. There were some receivers behind him. Well, good grief. And Bates was, like, pushing one of the Colts as the ball hit the turf. I wow. was thinking it was going to be on Bates for a personal foul. That's a 15-yard penalty, oh, and it and bails out geez. Grimsley that was an after missing pass. a third down. Jeez. It's first down from the 18-yard line, the Grizzlies. Set a man in motion. They'll give it to Myers running up the middle. Myers is across the 15 and down to the 13. Man, put a circle around that one. That was. Number 25, Aiden Myers on the wow. carry. Landon Holzhauer on the tackle that time for the Colts. They'll give him four to the 14, second down and six. Clock runs 217 to play in the third quarter. Wilden trails 12 to 7. Need to bow up here and make a play. Big time. They stack three receivers to the right side of Hawkins. He's looking left, being pressured, now has to roll right. Throws it toward the end zone. He's got a man. Touchdown. Thompson with the touchdown catch from 14 yards out. That penalty ends up costing Woodland big time. Changed the whole dynamic of that drive. Mm. 
like Grimsley is setting up to go for two. And they're going to direct snap it to Harris Vincent. Vincent takes it, fakes it, and he goes in from two yards out and gives the Grizzlies two more points. With a minute 58 to play third quarter, our new score, Grimsley, 20, Woodland, 7. This is Woodland Football presented by Freedom 5-1 and Eagle Bank Mortgage. Minute 58 to play third quarter. Grimsley leads Woodland 20 to seven after a 14 yard touchdown pass from Mason Hawkins to Q Thompson. Vinson will kick it off again for the Grizzlies. Burns and Graves are back deep for the Colts, but we haven't seen a kickoff go past about 20 yards down the field tonight. This one's gonna be fielded by Isaac Smith at the 35 yard line. Smith gets out across the 40 to the 42. And that's where the Colts begin with a minute 57 to go in the third quarter. Need something positive. Need it kind of quickly here. Kickoff return by number 22 to Thad Claggett. Schaefer comes out with Tyree Terry at running back here. Terry had a big run. Wiped off because of a hold in the first half. Probably the fastest player on the field for the Colts. And... There's a whistle before the snap, and I think Something. there's a problem with the chains. Yeah. All right, now they've got it resolved. Woodland first down from its own 42-yard line. Schaefer with three receivers stacked to the right side of the formation. Terry behind him. He takes it. Gives it to Terry. Terry bounces outside to the right. And he's going to lose a lot of yardage. That's a loss of seven, maybe eight yards back to the 35, 34-yard line. That's how Terry runs. It's how he's made a lot of his success this year, but Grims is also the fastest defense they've seen this year. Grimsley with about an eight-yard loss there. We see Terry so many times this year kind of run laterally, and then he's so good at cutting, able to cut up the field. It just didn't happen there. Three yeah. receivers left side on second and long. Schaefer, it's a run all the way. He gets a few of those yards back out toward the 40, and it'll be third down and long. A lot of talking inside those tackles right now. On the tackle that time by... Grimsley was Charlie Miller, and then Miller got up, and he was yapping. Third down at 12. 12. 32 seconds to go third quarter. The Colts need to get to the Grimsley 48-yard line. It's a big Woodland crowd looking for something to cheer about. Schaefer with four receivers. Takes a snap. Being pressured, has to roll to his left. Now he's just going to run with it. He takes a big hit, knocked out of bounds at the 43. That was Cy Bates with the tackle that time for the Grizzlies. And some chirping's going on. The yeah. officials having to separate everybody. It really is. Now, if you're Woodland, I mean, you got to go for it, right? Yeah. I don't think you have any choice, honestly. They bring Terry in on this fourth down. Fourth and seven. Woodland from its 45. Needs to get to the Grimsley 48-yard line. Three receivers left side. 
Big play in this game. Schaefer takes the snap. They run a reverse to Terry going right side. Terry's got some blockers in front of him. A flag comes out. Several flags come out. Terry's going to score, but I think it's going to come back. It's a 55-yard touchdown run, but there are three flags on the field. Landon Schaefer gets up and says, it's my fault. It's on me. Which makes you think it's going to be a hold or maybe a block in the back, something on the far side of the field. Oh, man. It's a hold against Woodland. So they'll mark 10 yards off. Now, Blair, one of the key things here is that it was down the field, so it's not going to move Woodland back just too terribly far. Well, as soon as I say that, they're marking. I think they've called this a personal foul. It had to be. That's 15. They just marked it off 15. Yeah, they sure did. They moved this back all the way to the 35-yard line. That's the end of the quarter. Well, they'll sort it out in between quarters. Yeah. Three quarters in the book. Colts trail Grimsley 20-7. to seven. This is Woodland Football presented by Freedom 5-1 and Eagle Bank Mortgage. Getting ready for the start of the fourth quarter after looking back on it, I think they called a personal foul face mask penalty against the Colts on that last run. And so that's why Woodland's punting the ball away here from its 35. Daxton Tesmer, a low line drive kick. Keaton gets out of the way. It takes a Woodland roll inside the 25, and the Colts will down it at the 21 yard line. Athis Brady down. 44 yard by number 12. Down it for the Colts. 7.50 to play fourth quarter. Woodland trailing Grimsley 20 to 7. If the Colts have any chance of winning the game, Blair, you feel like they got to get off the field really fast here. Yes. Yes, they do. Turnover would be absolutely phenomenal. I'm trying to adjust the settings on the camera just to let you know. That's why I was pointing the other way. It seems to be. Seems to be working okay. We'll roll with that. So first down for the Grizzlies from their own 21-yard line, 734 to play. Mason Hawkins in the shotgun formation. They give it to Myers up the middle. He's met, and he's going to be taken down behind the line of scrimmage. Great job reading the play that time by Julian Stafford. He's had a great game tonight in the middle of that Woodland defensive line. Three yards on the play, second down and 13. Yeah. Got the stop we needed on first down. Three yard loss back to the 18. It'll be second down and 13. Grimsley, kind of surprisingly, still moving pretty quickly. And now they're oh, going to get Wilton to no. jump. Well, it was Stafford with the big play, and this time he jumps across the line of scrimmage. That'll be a five yard penalty. And that'll move Grimsley forward. To the 23 it'll be second down and eight from there just used our aggression against us there 651 to play Grimsley needs to get to the 31 yard line Hawkins goes play action trying to set up a screen this is Bates Bates gets away from the first tackler trying to get away from Moore and he's going to be taken down Near the line of scrimmage, it took about seven players to take him down. Man, he is a load. Well, he kind of looked like one of those bulls at the rodeo as the uh, rider is trying to jump off. Yeah. Loss of two on a play. We third down and ten. Steer wrestling. For the Grizzlies. Bull rider, yeah, it's 
It's a loss of two back down. to the 21. Wow, look like they're going to throw it here, man. Yeah, empty backfield set. Third down and 10. They need to get to the 31. Big play in this game. Hawkins takes the snap. Well, then rushes three. He throws over the middle. The pass oh, is caught man. at the 40. Midfield. He's at the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Grimsley. Vinson with a 79-yard touchdown touchdown. catch. Charlie Graves comes up limping for the Colts. And that might be the backbreaker. Man, what a gutsy play call. So Charlie. Two Colts trying to converge in on the, the ball. Charlie Graves is okay. They're carrying him oh, to man. the bench. They'll go for two. Hawkins, the quarterback. Takes it, throws over the middle. The pass is caught by Keaton. Two-point try is good. And with 5.43 to play, Grimsley has taken a 28-7 lead here in the conference championship game. This is Woodland Football presented by Freedom 5-1 and Eagle Bank Mortgage. to play fourth quarter. Woodland trailing Grimsley 28-7 after a 79-yard touchdown pass from Mason Hawkins to Harris Vincent. Harris Vincent has been so good tonight for the Grizzlies. They've made the plays when they've had to, Matt. Vincent kicks it off, and there's a flag. This is going to be an offsides against the Grizzlies. I had flashbacks, Blair, while I was watching that run to the game that we had here last year between Fayetteville High School and Bentonville West. And Fayetteville was in it. They had them at a third down, and then Bentonville West, I think, went about 64 yards up the gut. And that was really the backbreaker in the game. So the offsides will move Grimsley back to the 35. They'll kick it from there. Vincent with a high kick. This is a live ball. It's a live ball, and Grimsley's got it. Cy Bates falls on it at the 48-yard line. Oh, Sky man. Kick is recovered by the Grizzlies. They'll have it off first down and 10. Coming on 48-yard line. Wow. How many times have we seen? I, I, I can't remember a football season where there have been that many live balls on kickoffs. And the, and the return team doesn't know to get on the ball. Yeah, it's it's just and mind-blowing. And, and, and to be fair, we're not talking about just in, in junior high games. No. We've seen it a lot in high school games Level, this we've year. We've seen it in the NFL how yeah. many times this year. I mean, it's just college, you name it. It's just it's been a really wild year. From the 48, Hawkins pushes okay. forward. That pass is incomplete. It was a pass because he pushed it forward. He was trying to get it to Quentin Thompson. And Tesmer couldn't get there in time for the Colts. Clock stops, 5.23 to go. Second down and 10 for the Grizzlies. You start to wonder if you're Grimsley, why don't you just run the ball here? Yeah, just formation. Hand Hawkins like gives that. it to Myers. Myers up the middle. Not much there. Gets a yard out to the 49. It'll be third down and long. Aiden Myers on the carry. 
Tackle by yeah, the old like Jack Kessner was on the tackle that time for Woodland. Yeah, kind of go old school football here and just run it and run clock. Under five minutes to play. No game on the play. That's, that's where the game has changed. Among many areas. Yeah, everybody's in the shotgun. Everybody hurries. You know, fast, fast, fast. Sometimes. Third down, Hawkins goes play action, rolls to his right, throws. The pass is caught by Bates. And here we go. Bates pushing the pile forward across midfield at the 48-yard line. It'll be taken down. It'll be fourth down from there. It's like a rugby scrum. Yeah. And you know it's so tough for the officials, too, trying to figure out where exactly the forward progress stops. Yeah. It'll be fourth down and six. The one thing you're guaranteed when Bates catches the ball is that the first defender is not going to take him down. Yeah. They need to get to the 42 on fourth down at six. Hawkins gives a hard count. Woodland does a good job of staying home. Eight on the snap clock. Hawkins tries to give a hard count uh, again, and this time they went. About two or three Colts jumped across. And so now it's going to make it fourth down and one. Woodland. Fourth down and one for the Grizzlies. Yeah, all three of those defensive linemen jump for the Colts, and all three of them are being taken out of the game. Yeah. Hey, credit their offensive linemen for, for standing there still. That's, that's not easy to do. Well, now it's fourth and one from the 43. The Grizzlies need to get to the 42-yard line. Hawkins is the quarterback. It's an empty backfield set. Bates is going to get under his center and take the snap, running right wow. side across the 40. Bates is at the 30, just running over Colts across the 25 and out of bounds at the 24-yard line. 19-yard carry that time by Cy Bates, a first down. That's off to Ty Story. He's thrown some new wrinkles into the playbook tonight. And they've worked. That Kinda was pretty nifty. Emptying out the playbook, last game of the year. Yeah. Good to see Charlie Graves running over here on the Woodland yes. sideline after he had been carried off the field. Yeah. Hawkins takes it on first down. The give is to Myers up the middle for a yard. It'll be second down. Well, so Woodland... They're going to finish the year, Blair, with a 8-2 record. Only two losses to Grimsley. Certainly nothing to be ashamed of there. No. They are a very, very good football team. Yes. And Woodland's a very good football team. I mean, they beat oh, yeah. some good teams this year. I, I thought uh, Springdale Central was very good early in the year. Certainly the win over Fulbright was notable a few weeks back. And the big you can win tell, over Ramey. Yep, yeah, Ramey. You can tell, though, why the Bentonville School District is where the championship is being won in 7A West right now. As they run up the middle, this is Miller going to be taken down for no gain. Good job on the tackle that time by Landon DeMartin. It'll be third and long. But, man, when you watch Fulbright and Grimsley and – no Even I eight. thought Washington played them yeah. pretty well, considering that they didn't have the numbers, much yeah. of a roster. There's just a culture here in Bentonville that's developed. Yes. Yeah, it, it really has, and it's trickled down to the junior high levels. And that's such an important part of it, too, just to, to get everybody to buy in. Hawkins gives it to Myers, running right side on third down across the 20, falls forward to the 15-yard line. He'll be a little shy of a first down. And so it'll bring up a fourth down. Clock continues to run, 2.02 to play. But if you're Fayetteville, you, you got to feel good about the future of the, you know, the Fayetteville High School football team because of the eighth grade team at Woodland, they're pretty good. The seventh grade team at Woodland's been good this year. I thought Ramey had a lot of really good playmakers when they played them earlier this year. No, the, the green box. I believe Ramey, uh, Ramey's seventh grade team beat Fulbright this year. It's the only game that Fulbright yeah. lost in the seventh grade wow. circuit. Timeout, Grimsley. Hard count doesn't work here, and so Grimsley takes the timeout as they face a fourth and one with a minute 29 to play.
Well, we want to say thank you to all of the sponsors tonight and throughout the season. Centennial Bank, Mellow Mushroom, Bank of Fayetteville. Also our title sponsors this year, Freedom 5-1, Eagle Bank Mortgage. They've been very good to us. Thank you to the uh, Woodland Booster Club. Jacob Logue and his wife Jenny have been very good to work with this year. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah. Sometimes we forget how much fun Thursday night football can be. <laughs> but it's it's been a blast. Yeah, been some really good football too. Unfortunately, it's not going to end the way everybody wants for Woodland, but still, I mean, an eight-win season, that's that's outstanding. They put Bates under center again, and he runs forward for a first down. And now after Grimsley, all you got to do is take a couple of knees. Two yards on the play. First and down. you've won a conference Grimsley. championship. Not bad for your first year as a school, too. Yeah. The Grizzlies will feed into Bentonville West High School. Of course, that's why they play here. We talked about Fulbright earlier. That's a Bentonville High program. Those two teams play tomorrow night. What do they call it? The Battle Down 102, yep, I think? The Battle Down 102, yes. It's sold out. It's been a good matchup throughout the years. Hey, and after what we saw at Bentonville High School for the Fayetteville game, sold out Ooh. may mean that they may actually fill every seat there. I, yeah, that's true. In, in a year where they've been trying to distance people because of COVID. We didn't see that at Bentonville High School for that game against Fayetteville. Not very well, at least. Yeah. Well, a lot of families. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of families together. One more snap should do it. Grimsley's going to beat Woodland tonight 28-7 to in the conference championship game. Great season by both of these teams. Hawkins takes the final knee. And the Grimsley players celebrate. Great year that for Grimsley. That team has done a really nice job this year. Woodland also a great job. Nothing to hang your head about. You lost to a good team tonight. That's the only team they lost to all season. These Woodland parents yep. on their feet, giving them a round of applause. Yep, well deserved. They'll finish the year 8-2. and two. We thank you for joining us all season for these Woodland broadcasts. Remember that. If you want to watch some more football tomorrow night, Fayetteville High School will be at Springdale Harbor. Big playoff implications in that game. Big rivalry game at the 7A West. Purple Dogs and the Wildcats at 7 o'clock from Harbor Stadium. For Blair Cartwright, I'm Matt Jones. Have a good night, everyone.